One of the real issues when it comes to growing your own fruit is not wasting it all and so that you get to use all of the crop. Well, here's some ideas from commercial operators that allow you to make the best of the bounty of the season. One way of making the most of citrus fruits is to juice them. Now, in my opinion, there is no drink as lovely as freshly squeezed orange juice. And to add a bit of colour, we've put in some juice from a blood orange. Now, it's worth noting that the juice of navel oranges will only store for about a day, whereas Valencia's are good for a lot longer. Nuts can be stored for months as long as they're kept in dry locations. Old onion bags are terrific as they can be hung up. Another method of long-term storage involves drying. Now I use this multi-layered air dryer to take the moisture very, very gently out of tomatoes and apples, as well as banana and strawberry. Now, it concentrates the flavour and it also finishes up with a product that's just perfect for either storing in a jar or in the fridge. Chinese date is a small fruit that has a distinctive apple flavour when it's fresh, but after drying, it is more like a date. Now, some fruits help you out almost automatically. Good example, the avocado. The fruits will actually hang on this in a semi-mature form for many months, and it's only when you pick them, take them inside, that they soften up and they're ready to eat. Now, olives can be preserved in a brine solution. This consists of 100 grams of salt to a litre of water. And once they come out of there, you can add some lovely flavourings like chilli. Now, the joys of growing your own fruit at home are many, but the best value comes if you can learn a few tricks of extending the use of that crop. <laughs>